Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna do a quest on Zeta Chain. If you are familiar with Zeta Chain, Zeta Chain is a blockchain, uh, kind of cross chain between, uh, let's say, BNB, Bitcoin, and so on. It's uh, one of the best projects, the new projects or the upcoming projects. Okay, so we're gonna go through uh, this quest. Okay, it's uh, between Zeta Chain and NFTs to me quest. We already worked on it before with the base network. So now they're doing the quest with Zeta Chain. You need to add your Zeta Chain or configure it to your MetaMask. So in this guide you will have all the links okay I'll keep the link for this guide in the description it's the website all right so as per the guide you will go step by step so first let's connect our wallet and sign with the website next signing the message And all set for Zeta Chain. As you can see, we did already for Lenya. Well, I did it already for Base. So, this kind of websites or projects support the new blockchains. So, let's go step by step. First, we need to click on Editions to create NFTs for ourselves. Alright, so let's start with it. Edition. We need to name it. Let's say is Zeta uh, test. All right. Regarding so the simple, you can choose whatever you want. I'm gonna go for with. All right. So this is regarding the token. A description. Set a chain test NFT. This is regarding the project collection. So I'm going to choose this one. Okay. And create a collection. That okay, create a collection edition size and minting fee. So, specify a minting fee, it will be a price that the user has to pay to mint the NFT, and you will receive from each mint set zero for free minting. Okay. By default, it's set on a native Ethereum. If you prefer to set the price using ARC20, like USDC, you can press on it and choose a different token. I set edition size. Maximum number of NFTs can be minted and deploy on the chain. Okay. So let's go here. Let's see how many. I want a thousand. Or let's make it two, 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 two. And regarding, uh, see here how much I have. I'm set up. Okay, so I'm gonna put on zero more. Or I'm gonna keep it like this. So we have the edition size and we have the minting fee. We go back. Option. Generate alternative description using AI. So if we go here, no need for the advance. We're gonna 
generate. So now it's like they are using the Zeta testnet is a unique NFT non fungible token okay, collection known as Zeta chain test NFTs. So we have everything here now deployed. Let me check here. So we are deploying, it will take three missions. So packing images, uploading images 100% one megabyte. Okay, packing metadata and uploading metadata. Let's see how much they will charge us 0.5. So I'll go with it. Creating now the edition collection. Congratulations, you successfully deployed your NFT project. Okay, complete all tasks to get maximum amount of points for the quest. Go back here. Confirm and then you will have it something like this one. Okay. A new generic minting. Okay, remember NFT collection start in closed minting phase. Click next steps to enable minting. So after that, change phase from closed to public open. So if we go here. Need to click on the project. Wait a little bit. So this is the project. All the info. So current membership. All right, so let's go step by step. Change phase. So this is what we have. Is it the chain testnet? Okay. If you will open the project dashboard, there you can configure a smart contract and minting page with growing earning tokens from A to Z. Okay, so first one, click on the dashboard, which is this one. Okay, you click on it, you are on the dashboard. So here are all the options that we need to use. So let's go back, and they will tell you go to main setting and choose here to public and update phase okay so we go menting page we go down let's see it again Is drop date
recommend setting choose the phase and make it public open and we need to update it confirm in your wallet I guess I'm using high fees so let me configure this one out successfully updated go back and then mint nft from nft project okay so as described above when you deploy the smart contract collection url you can create your own custom uh, subdomain for mending page collection name logo banner all these stuff so we go to a minting page, this one. What we need to do, creating the costume URL. It's fine, I will keep this one as it is, collection name as it is. Okay, we'll go some here to visit page to see how it looks. So that's the website. And this is the NFT I already minted and deployed on the blockchain. Okay, next step saving changes in case you wanna add a link here add some info you can do it but for me we're just doing a test so no big deal you need to connect your wallet okay that's you are now new minting you will get something like this click on connect wallet and the minting option will appear if you have enough ETH to mint for us like this one we'll connect our metamask go back here Minting option will appear, okay, so we need to confirm, we need to mint one of the NFTs. Just reset with the cookies. Element one. 
point zero one. Focus, go here. So you can choose to mint to another wallet if you want. For example, mint to other wallet option. Confirm transaction and wait until it's done. Okay. Let's go back. It's done. You can share on uh, Twitter or whatever you want. So now it's not the thing we're gonna look for. We just uh, just meant it. After that, an airdrop is a way to send NFTs to the desired addresses for free. Maybe similar to whitelist. Okay. This for two bunch of cases. If you wanna keep an, one NFT for yourself and airdrop the rest, a way to send. Oops. Okay. Maybe here. So how do I send salt pound airdrop? We need to go to the dashboard. Airdrops. After that, we need to click on salt bonds NFTs and choose account. So let's go. This one no need anymore. We'll just go airdrops. We need to click on Soul Bounce NFTs. Add account. What account we need to have? Let's see here if we have another account. So we click on it. Copy. Click on the other one back. Add to address. Okay. Amount of NFTs. I'm gonna choose two. Add to airdrop. So straight away we need to send. To go back. Have it here. And then send as an airdrop. Sent. Okay, mented and sent. And it's done. Successfully dropped. So what else we need to do? So for us, I guess that's it. That's what we need. So we created an NFT using AI and uh, we uh, did the airdrop. If we come back here, if we go to the main, you will see your project here. Deploy it, and this is the date. Same what we did with Lenya. Okay. We own it and that's it. That's the most important. So this is what you need to focus on guys. Alright, thank you so much. Any questions just let me know. Uh, I'd like to share with you my experience to do the quest. You can do it as I did and that's it. Alright, thank you so much. Take care.